Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquez of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Just before I say anything, Living Streams is embarking on a 21-day fast. Join us and uh, you will never be you will never be disappointed. From the 18th of January to the 7th of February, we're seeking the face of God in a 21-day period from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are seeking the face of God and anytime we take our fast, we have amazing, amazing results and God shows up oh yes he does he shows up and there are testimonies countless amazing testimonies of what God can do but this morning I'm, I'm just capturing my thought in shifting atmospheres that is shifting atmospheres one of the things I learned very earlier on in life and uh, my story is taken from first Samuel chapter 17 you know Goliath comes to town and what Goliath began, Goliath created an atmosphere for the people of Israel. Look at what he said. Am I not a Philistine? And are you not servants of Saul? Choose out the man to fight with me this day. And the way he kept taunting them and the way he had them, what he did was he created an atmosphere of fear for the people of Israel. Just by what he was saying, fear gripped everybody. Goliath had never fought any Israelite. So it was uh, premature for him to, to, to make that boast. And uh, the way he was saying it was taunting them. And the Bible says they were all afraid. And all he did was talk. Big talker. Big talker. Now, wh what he was saying created an atmosphere of fear. In the whole army of Israel. Everybody was afraid because of his words. Then, like I said earlier on, David comes to town. And David changes the story. David also began to speak back. And David began to create an uh, atmosphere of hope atmosphere of, of faith and atmosphere of victory he began to say those things you know one of the things that i've seen atmospheres are not given by god atmospheres are created by humanity and that scripture is very simple it says god inhabits the praise of his people so when praise goes up then he comes to inhabit it so atmospheres are not given by god but atmospheres are created and the atmospheres are all around you or the atmosphere is what you walk under you want to walk in the atmosphere of happiness. You want to walk in the atmosphere of positive. You want to walk in the atmosphere of depression, uh, fear, and all those things. That's your choice. So atmospheres are not given by, by, by God. They are created by men, by humanity. And so people, somebody can create an atmosphere of fear. Many years ago, a couple of years ago, we were told that there's a tsunami coming to the whole of Ghana and, you know, much more greater than that of uh, Indonesia. And everybody, I mean, people began to just make call. The sea wasn't even rough. And they said there's a tsunami coming. And people were leaving their homes and running out of their, their rooms and staying outside because, I mean, that is about middle of the night. And people were standing outside because there's a tsunami coming. And that was, that was what? It was just killing people. Because it was an atmosphere of fear. Let me just say this. You can also change your atmosphere. You can create your own atmosphere. And for me, I always work in my own atmosphere. I don't care who. I like to work in my own atmosphere. Atmosphere I've created. I create an atmosphere of faith. I create an atmosphere of positive atmosphere around me. And that's what you need to understand. Now, what, was David, what did David do? He came and he changed the atmosphere. He changed the scenario. He changed it by his proclamation. So here are the principles by which you can change your atmosphere. Number one, the power of prayer. Prayer can, can uh, the power of prayer can destabilize. The Bible says, and when we pray, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the name of the Lord and against his counsel. The Bible says in Revelation 12, 10, the Bible says, and they overcame him by the adversary. First of all, uh, they overcame the adversary, the accuser of the brethren. They overcame him by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. So the power of prayer. Prayer can shift atmospheres. Prayer can change atmospheres. 
Prayer can invade the heavenlies, just like Daniel did. The atmosphere around Daniel was a very, very impervious atmosphere for even divine answers. So that my, uh, Gabriel is coming and he can't get through. Michael has to come in by prayer. So you can change the atmosphere by the power of prayer. Number two, by the proclamation of praise. You can change your atmosphere by the proclamation of praise. Praise changes the understand the atmosphere. Praise changes the atmosphere. You can declare, you can make some uh, praise proclamations. Among the gods, among the God, who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praise. You get it? And that's what happened. That's what happened. Look at what Gideon did. He said, look, uh, what, what happened on the, 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 uh, the walls of Jericho? The walls of Jericho came down by their praise. They lifted up the blast of the trumpet. They lifted up the praise. And that's it. So our praise has the power to change our atmosphere. So don't get tired of praise. Come on, put on your dancing shoes. Lift up your praise. Lift up your worship and change your atmosphere. Then number three, by the declaration of faith. So number one, prayer. Number two, proclamation of praise. And number three, declaration of faith. That's what you need to do. Sometimes you need to speak faith. That's what David did. I will do this to you. I will, I will treat you like a dog. I will cut off your head. I will, you get it? That's it. So sometimes the declaration of faith, the declaration of faith based upon his word, uh, say, no weapon that is fashioned against me shall prosper. Uh, you know, and, and those, uh, saying those things, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of fear, I will fear no evil. You know, even when my enemies gather around me, God will prepare a table before me. And sometimes our proclamation of uh, our declaration of faith helps. And so you can change your atmosphere. Sometimes you will go to church and it's drop and door. Someone will, uh, I've seen it happen before. There's a team losing and then they are, their supporters raise up songs. And their supporters begin to raise, their cheering squad begins to raise their voice. It, it provides new vim and verve for the, for the losing team. And all of a sudden the game changes. What happens in the natural can sometimes give you a, a picture of the spiritual. I've seen losing team win because of changing atmospheres by their supporters. So you can also, listen, sometimes I'm saying, come on Spurs, you get it? And I say, Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. I've seen people, I mean, yeah, I mean, changing atmospheres. You can also shift the atmosphere under which you operate. You can shift it. But it's a choice you have to make. And you can force a horse to the water pond, but you can't force it to drink. To drink. Shift your atmosphere. See you later.